everyone. You're watching Global Leaders Network, WinTV. I'm your host, Ye Seo Yoon. There are many leaders globally in area, business, government, non-for-profit organization, our industry, etc. Global Leaders Network invites these leaders and share inspirational stories. Today, I invited Howard Schultz, President of YMCA Northbrook and CEO. How are you today? 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. <laughs> How are you? I'm great, thank you. Thank you for, thank you for having me. I'm honored to be here. <laughs> You're welcome. Would you please uh, introduce yourself? Sure. Mm -hmm. My name is Howard Schultz. Mm -hmm. I'm the president and CEO of the North Suburban YMCA in Northbrook. Mm -hmm. And we serve, we are an independent YMCA. Uh, that means that we serve um, 15 towns north of Chicago, mm -hmm. uh, ranging from Winnetka on the shoreline up to Lake Bluff, and then west to uh, Buffalo Grove, Riverdale, Riverwoods, um, Glenview, mm -hmm. Glencoe, Deerfield, Highland Park, Northbrook, Northfield, um, Libertyville, mm -hmm. um, Highwood, Lake Forest, mm -hmm. and any town in between that I might have missed. So. Wow, wow. Yes, and we're separate from Metro Chicago, so we're an independent association. Wow. Our, so we have 8,500 members and 20,000 participants. What made you choose YMCA? Well, I had actually been working um, as director of Jewish Family Service in Cincinnati, mm -hmm. and I had been in the JCC world for a long time, and then I wanted to come back to Chicago. I had been away from Chicago for um, 30 years, and um, in, 19, in 2006, mm -hmm. um, I interviewed for a number of jobs in Chicago, and the YMCA mm -hmm. was looking for somebody with my skill set. Mm -hmm. um, I've raised a lot of money. Um, capital money, um, fundraising, they needed somebody who could do that. Mm -hmm. They had some uh, problems that they needed to have resolved, uh, turn some things around. I've been involved in crisis management uh, my, during my career as well, and I had a number of choices. And the Y presented a great opportunity because it's a wonderful organization mm -hmm. um, and it gave me a chance to really um, create and, and with wonderful leadership that would allow me to lead mm -hmm. and uh, work with me. Um, and I've been here ever since for now 13 years. And I've had m opportunities to go elsewhere and I just love the community. I live in Highland Park, it's very close. And, um, and I just love working with the uh, Y. Great mm -hmm. people, um, very responsive. And mm -hmm. so I, I, that's why. Mm. You love Y. YMCA has been known for the education program for uh, for children and youth groups. And then uh, the YMCA in Northbrook uh, currently celebrated uh, 50 years, right, of history. Can you tell us about the history? Sure, mm -hmm. so the Y was founded 50 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, actually 55 years ago. It was found, it, it started up, our building was built in 1968. Mm -hmm. And um, it, when it was founded, the Y was the only place in town um, up in the suburbs. Um, over the years it's grown, but we've had a, a wonderful relationship in the community where the Y has become the go-to place mm -hmm. um, and uh, a, a, a center for um, community or, um, celebrations, mm -hmm. um, for health and wellness, um, and uh, now as well for cultural uh, celebrations, for uh, visual arts, for performing arts. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the relationship, Rotary was actually played a big part in starting us. And now our relationship has come full circle with the Korean Rotary Club. That's actually, actually you asked me a question before we started. Mm -hmm. um, how did I get here? And mm -hmm. the, we, we've developed a partnership with the Chicago, Chicagoland Korean Rotary Club mm -hmm. to develop a, a grant program um, so that we could um, provide an opportunity for um, uh, uh, funding for special needs families to develop job training programs for the individuals with special needs and or disabilities. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to work that out with them. And mm -hmm. the club has been wonderful. Uh, Justin Lee and John Kim, um, two individuals who have been wonderful um, and working with us. And our relationship with them has been terrific. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just one example of the many organizations that we work with. And one of the things about the WISE history is that we have partnered with many organizations mm -hmm. Right now, we partner with over 60 organizations, nonprofits mm -hmm. that come to the Y. And our goal is to help everybody who partners with us do their jobs better. Mm -hmm. So that um, it's not just about the Y doing things, it's about helping us make everyone else's jobs easier. In our 50th anniversary, we started two new initiatives. One was um, called Two Seconds Too Long, mm -hmm. which is a, a uh, swimming prevention 
drowning prevention program mm -hmm. because it only takes two seconds for someone to drown. Mm -hmm. So we're giving free swim lessons mm -hmm. to children um, throughout our region mm -hmm. um, to learn swim safety. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we've been looking for, we've been developing funding for. Mm -hmm. um, this past year, over 1,600 kids got um, swim, swim safety lesson, uh, assemblies, and we're providing swim lessons for them. Mm -hmm. We also have provided a chronic disease program called um, Enhanced Fitness and Diabetes Prevention. And those are also two programs that are new to us and which we're engaging people who are, who are on the older adult spectrum as well. So the education programs you asked about, mm -hmm. We also have adult education programs. We have STEAM, uh, which is you know science, technology, education, arts, and math, um, and and a big program for special needs, Special Olympics swimming, um, uh, performing arts, visual arts. Um, all these things have grown throughout the Wise history, and now we are the go-to place. We are the center of the community, and we're very proud of it. That's a long answer to your question. So yeah, but I like the long answer. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes we need well, a good. history. You good. Know? <laughs> Tell my staff you like long answers. I, really I will. I have heard that uh, there are many Asian communities actually participate in the Y, so including Koreans. Uh, would you tell me uh, what ethnic cities and uh, how many percentage currently in Y? Um, we have a large population of Asian Americans uh, who participate at the Y. Uh, it's hard to give exact numbers because we don't ask. Um, but we can tell because of the languages that you hear at the Y. And mm -hmm. next to the Botanic Garden, I think I'm safe to say that we are one of the most uh, diverse places on the North Shore. Mm -hmm. um, at, at one point or another, we've taught seven different languages in our swimming pool. Mm -hmm. um, so I can tell you that um, we have a large population of Koreans, mm -hmm. and it's probably anywhere between 13 and 16 percent of our membership. Wow. Um, mm -hmm. uh, we have a large Indian population, uh, Pakistani population, mm -hmm. um, Vietnamese, um, Chinese, Japanese, um, all at the Y, all um, getting along. Everybody gets along at the Y, mm -hmm. um, including political diversity uh, mm -hmm. as well. Um, believe it or not, we have people you know, on our television set, we'll have MSNBC new on one TV and Fox on the other, and uh, nobody fights it's, uh, because at the Y is, is a central ground where everyone gets along mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's a common meeting ground. And it would be nice if the rest of the world could emulate what we do mm -hmm. um, because our goal is for everyone to figure out how to be together mm -hmm. in a safe environment and, 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 and learn and live from each other. Mm -hmm. Did you have any challenges while uh, you were running uh, this Y? And uh, what kind of challenges did you face at the time? There's challenges every day. Um, and uh, the challenges uh, are, you know, my job is like running a small city. Mm -hmm. um, and this, uh, just as when you have, um, you know, 8,500 members, mm -hmm. um, you know, and that many participants, <clears throat> there's always somebody who has an issue about something. Um, and we try, to, we try to listen to everyone. Mm -hmm. um, there was an old adage uh, at Nordstrom's department store had, which is the customer isn't always right, but the customer is always the customer. Mm -hmm. And so you have to listen to people right. and then uh, hear what they say and then decide you know, what you can do about it mm -hmm. um, and resolve it. And many times it's some people just want to be heard. Mm -hmm. So there's customer service issues that we respond to. Um, money is always an issue. And so you know, the why is completely self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. We don't receive any central funding from any sources, no government funding, no... Uh, central uh, subsidies of any sort. We have to raise all our own money for membership and program and then fundraising. So we depend on the community and we have to always go out and fundraise. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you a, a story. As a, a colleague of mine used an example and said, being a CEO at the YMCA mm -hmm. is like being in a football game and running the two-minute drill and you're on the two-yard line and you've got to go 98 yards and you're down by a touchdown and you run the entire way and you score the winning touchdown with no time left and everybody's excited mm -hmm. and they're celebrating and they want to mm -hmm. go into the clubhouse and celebrate mm -hmm. and they go through the portal to celebrate but instead of being in the clubhouse they're back on a field mm -hmm. running a two-minute drill again uh, because there is no clubhouse you're back on it you're always running a two-minute drill mm -hmm. and that's what it feels like at times um, but we have wonderful community support and we have great donors and so in the time that i've been here um, we've raised about uh, $8 million in capital support and over $4 million in scholarship dollars because the community has responded. Mm -hmm. And if you tell the right, the right story, um, people respond. And we have had people who have been really affected um, 
in a positive way by what we do, and people have responded appropriately. And that makes the challenge easier because you can hit it and you get there. Mm. And we're honest about what happens mm. as well. What our needs are, we tell the story, and people respond. Mm. I see. Those are the keys, I guess. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. Okay. Honesty, transparency, mm -hmm. sincerity. Mm. What is success to you? So success to me is helping others be successful in what they do. I mean, that's what I see. My job is to help people be successful in what they do and stay out of the way as much as possible. But if they are stuck, is to help them get the job done by using my experience um, and, and making sure that they feel comfortable coming to me and asking for questions. I make it, make it my policy that um, my door is always open mm -hmm. um, and that there is no question that, that they can ask that is wrong. Mm -hmm. If they're asking for help, then they get help. Mm -hmm. Now, they may not like the answer they get, um, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm going to give an answer always to say, here's what I think you could do. Mm -hmm. Now, um, most people respond to that well, and um, I've had success with that style, mm -hmm. and uh, I continue, I'm going to plan on continuing doing that. Mm -hmm. um, but my goal is, my success for me is for the why to be successful. Mm -hmm. Um, it's not about me, it's about the why. Mm -hmm. It's about the people that I work with to be successful, to grow. Mm -hmm. I've had a lot of people grow and go on to other positions and that makes me very happy. Mm -hmm. um, for, to have people feel good about their jobs, mm -hmm. to have people come on a daily basis, and we get them on a daily basis. People come and say, mm -hmm. what, uh, you know, what we've done has made a difference in their lives. Mm -hmm. um, people who have done testimonials about mm -hmm. what we've done that's made a difference in their lives. Mm -hmm. um, whether it's been a phone call, whether it's been something that a staff person did, mm -hmm. whether it's been the fact that they came back um, after an, an operation and had uh, uh, service by a trainer that made a difference, whether it's a scholarship that helped them get a job after school because, uh, a job because their kid was in an after school program mm -hmm. and they knew they were safe. Um, uh, whether it's somebody who um, was, has a transgender child um, who was able to come to the Y um, without fear of ridicule or, or embarrassment because it's a safe place. Mm -hmm. um, so all these things make it a measure of success for me mm -hmm. um, that I, I can't possibly measure enough. Mm -hmm. I see. Maybe this is related. What is a happiness? What brings you happiness? Well, the first thing that brings me happiness mm -hmm. is my four grandchildren. Mm -hmm. um, so they're number one on my list. Oh, you have grandchildren? I have four grandchildren and one on the way. So I, so they, they are number one way on my list. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and anybody who knows me knows that um, I'm always showing pictures of my grandkids. Mm -hmm. I would do it here, but I'd bore your audience. <laughs> um, however, uh, uh, and in fact, you know, at the Y, uh, anybody who gets involved in the Y knows that um, uh, it family comes first, mm -hmm. no matter what. Um, and so staff who work for me as well know that um, if they've got a family event or a meeting, they don't have to worry about coming to me and say, mm -hmm. you know, I'm afraid to ask, you know, to go to my family event. They go to their event because mm -hmm. I don't want to miss those things. Mm -hmm. So, however, after that, it's success by the why. Um, people getting, again, like I said, the happiness for me is when I hear the stories of people who's, who, who stopped me on the street. I was at Northbrook Days. Mm -hmm. Um, last week, and a gentleman stopped me uh, at the, who, I, who I've seen at the Y, mm. um, I, didn't, I didn't recognize him for a moment, to tell me how fantastic our camp was mm. for his grandkids. He said, it, your, our camp is just spectacular. And he said, the kids come home and, and to his house and just love it. Mm. Um, and he, and the, it's the best thing ever. Mm. And it's like out of, out of the blue. Um, mm. That's what you like to hear. And... Um, you know, it, it makes you feel really good. Mm -hmm. So when people stop by or just pop in and say, you know, Tom March is, is doing such a great job with my, with my special needs kid in swimming. Um, it's fantastic, mm -hmm. you know, or, you know, Min is a great swim teacher um, mm -hmm. or whomever it is. It just makes me feel good that I'm involved in an organization that does the kind of things that it does mm -hmm. um, because that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Do you have any comments towards our audience today? I do. Um, I would like to, uh, first of all, say thank you for having me here. I'm honored to be here. Um, we are very fortunate to have a wonderful organization of, uh, at the Y and uh, for members of the Korean community to be involved. Um, we're, 
We really love the partnership we have with the Korean Rotary Club. And I invite members of the Korean community to come and visit the Y um, and check us out because we want to be your community center um, as an extension of what you do in the community. We have so many things that, that we offer right now that I think that people would love and probably don't realize that we have um, at a very reasonable price. Um, and if you can't afford it, we have scholarship available. Um, but also, as I said, we're looking for people who would like to be involved as, as leaders and help us guide um, you in terms of, and guide us in terms of what you would like to see. Because all you gotta do is ask. No is not a word in my vocabulary. Um, and so uh, we wanna make these things happen. And I invite you to come join us. Thank you so much for coming here and sharing your story today. Well, thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Global Leaders Network, Win TV. Serving other people can bring you happiness. We learned this lesson through our CEO, YMCA CEO, Howard Schultz. Thank you once again. If you want to watch this again, you can go to YouTube and also our website. And I want to see all of you next Thursday, 9 p.m. Until then, have a wonderful week. Bye-bye, everyone.